This morning, the fact a 12-year-old Michigan boy is alive is nothing short of a miracle. He was trapped underwater for nearly eight minutes and survived. It happened last month at the Avista Resort in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. This newly released surveillance video shows two boys in an unguarded Lazy River pool. Signs posted near the pool indicating no lifeguards were on duty. The boys were playing over a drain when one of them lifted a grate and somehow got stuck. The child is stuck in the drain at the pool. Watch closely. You see the boy's head slip underwater. The other boy tries to pull him out but can't. After he's been under for a minute and a half, the other boy yells for help. A woman nearby runs over. He's drowning right now. We need somebody now. It's chilling to watch the desperate battle to save him. At a minute 55, a vacationing Pennsylvania corrections officer reaches the submerged child and struggles for several minutes attempting to free the boy. Incredibly, he also performs mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation underwater. I was giving him underwater breaths to try and keep him, you know, alive. When police officers arrive and dive in to help, the boy's been underwater for 7 minutes and 22 seconds. Now all are working frantically to free him. When hotel maintenance turns off the pool's pumps, they're finally able to free him seven minutes and 40 seconds after he first went underwater. Officers immediately started CPR on the boy. Witnesses say the boy's leg was lodged in a filter pipe, trapping him underwater. The police incident report making clear the video shows the victim opening up the grate. Records show the pool's filtration system had been inspected twice last year and was up to code. The resort, meanwhile, tells NBC News it's thrilled to hear the boys doing well. With the grates in place, our Lazy River is safe for all of our guests. Evidence confirms that the boy and his companion dislodged the grate before he caught his foot in the intake. John Skursky was just one of the heroes that night. I'm just happy that he's alive. Honestly, it, if it wasn't for everyone that helped me, um, it, it probably wouldn't have been the same outcome. I'm, I'm glad I did it because now this little boy gets to live the rest of his life out.